Voters came early to cast their ballots at this polling station in the Kyrgyz capital, Bishkek. Kyrgyzstan is often described as much more democratic than neighboring, more authoritarian, post-Soviet states in Central Asia. Opposition parties are free to criticize the government. There's been lively open debate in the run-up to this poll. But widespread allegations of vote buying by pro-government and opposition parties alike means these parliamentary elections are seen as a test of how sustainable the country's democratic development is. I want these elections to be fair. Despite all the violations we see on social media, this election is good for our country. Others we spoke to at this polling station said many people had been transported there by a pro-government political party in accordance with the so-called Form 2 ruling. Form 2 is a legal loophole that allows a voter to change the precinct in which he or she casts a ballot. It means parties who feel they may lack support in a given area offer transport and money to voters if they agree to be moved and vote for them. It's estimated around half a million people were relocated to cast their ballot. Who are all these people? They come from another area. They have all sold their vote. Video showing people who had photographed their ballot paper after voting was posted online. A violation of Kyrgyz law which added to speculation that people were having to prove to parties they had kept their promise to vote for them and so receive their payment. But Al Jazeera has no independent way of verifying these videos. We see that uh, ways to falsify and to pressure voters to vote certain way have also um, expanded and there, is, there are more and more tools used by pro-government parties now to make sure that they prevail at elections. Preliminary results suggest a much bigger majority for pro-government parties than in the parliamentary elections in 2015 and already at least three opposition parties have rejected those results. After such widespread allegations of vote buying and manipulation, analysts are saying they predict other opposition parties may respond in the same way. Charles Stratford joins us now live from Bishkek. So first of all, let's start with the results. Official final results are not out yet, but is it an almost foregone conclusion at this point that it's pro-establishment parties that are going to win? Certainly seems that way, Sammy, yes. I mean, with such an incredible margin between those pro-government parties and the, the, the top opposition parties, or the opposition parties that seem to, certainly according to these preliminary results, done the best, that margin is so huge, it seems almost as a foregone conclusion. The preliminary results are still not final, though. We, we understand there's about 98% of those preliminary results in. We are potentially even expecting final results to maybe even be announced by the end of the day, which is surprising when you consider in previous elections it's taken at least two days for votes to be manually counted. But as you say, um, now we're looking at three pro-government parties that uh, are set to take around 107 seats in that 120-seat parliament. Um, the nearest opposition party to the pro-government parties uh, with around 13 seats. So, yeah, um, all evidence would suggest a massive win for pro-government parties in these parliamentary elections. Now, given, Charles, some of the irregularities you mentioned in your report there, is there a possibility we might see a dispute over the election result? It's unequivocal. I mean, uh, just to update you on the figures, our report that we filed last night around two in the morning, those, uh, those numbers that I mentioned there of at least three parties who have rejected the election, now it's eight parties that have rejected these results. Um, and uh, we've heard announcements by a number of parties for demonstrations to be held here in the capital, Bishkek, this afternoon. Um, it's fair to say there's, there's a lot of anger over this result. Um, because of, as we've been reporting, such widespread allegations of vote buying and vote uh, manipulation. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much, Charles Stratford, Bishkek.